All right, so to create a button. So first off, before we create a button, I gotta uh, say something. There are two ways of creating um, variables in Bala. So the first one is to actually do the Java style. So it's kind of like uh, the type, the type like that. Oops, uh, come on, man, I can't even type. And then the variable name, and then whatever like that. The second one is to do is to just use bar. So bar, and then you type whatever it is you're going to, uh, whatever um, object you want to create with the uh, arguments, of course. So that's one way of doing it. But I like doing the explicit way this way, where it shows what type of object it'll be. Either way, uh, both work the same. So right here, we're going to put uh, just a bunch of dots. Yeah, why not? Also, another note is that since Bala doesn't allow method overloading, uh, you have to be a little bit more explicit with uh, constructors. For example, the button constructor has another one, has a constructor that lets you set the button's text. So, for example, doing this it would not be valid. You would have to con call the constructor button that with label like that in order to create a button with its text already. So now, bam, there you go, you just create a button. So now, it's not enough to create the button, you actually have to show it. You have to tell it, add it to the window, and then call show. So we're already showing right there, so we just need to add it. So this dot add button, just like that, bam. There you go, now if we run it, we should be able to see the button. But before I run it, I'm just gonna make sure that uh, that whenever we run run it, the program will always be in the in the center. That way, I don't have to look for it or anything. So then, uh, the way, the way we do that is window that position equal window position dot center like that. And also, let's just give it a size set default size um, parens uh, three hundred by uh, five hundred. I have no idea how that looks, so uh, we'll see right now. So now if I run it, um, let's see, uh, yeah, that seems right, yep, there you go, look at that, like that, bam, button. Now as you can see, the button's not doing anything, and the reason for that is because we haven't told it to do anything. So now the way we do that, we bind the button, is do btn, the object that we want to bind, in this case is the button and then click that connect and in the connect we pass in the function that we want to call so let's just put sup yep the function a method called sup so now let's create it so it's a uh, public void uh, sup and it takes in no arguments and now what do we do uh, let's just print stuff out to make sure that it's working so printf um, sub just like that. So now if we go to our shell and do bala that package equals gtk plus minus 3.0 and then the file name simple bala and we run it. And now it's the moment of truth. If we press it, look at that. Beautiful. Sweet. Now let's see. Now, what happens if you want to change the button text whenever it's pressed? Well, it's simple. All you got to do is uh, just pass in GTK, that button, and then the name of that object, uh, let's just call it QWERTY. Bam. So now, if we want to change the label, we just call QWERTY, oops, QWERTY, that label equals, uh, I don't know, QWERTY. <laughs> just like that. So now, if we run it, I am. Look at that. It's changed. Simple, simple. Alright. That's pretty easy. So yeah, as you guys see, you can either pass in the object or you, or no object. It depends on really what you want to do. Now, let's do something interesting. What happens if we want to create two buttons? So, uh, let's see. Create second button. Let's just do the um, uh, exact same thing button that I'm a uh, second and now I'm uh, 
with a label with label in second just like that now if we want to add it add it so just do this dot add second and let's see what happens look at that only we only get one bunch showing now let's see why right here it's displaying something see that attempting to add a widget with type yada yada but as you can see the only important part that I want to get through this is that awesome possum uh, let's see right there awesome possum can only contain one widget at a time so yeah so if you try to add another one it won't let you so how we get around by this is by using something called uh, gtk.box and that should be for another video alright um, well hopefully this helped in any way alright